isotopes. Quick reminder about isotopes. Isotopes are atoms having the same atomic number. Remember, that means the number of protons, but they have a different number of neutrons. Most elements, most elements, not all, have at least two stable isotopes. Now, the keyword here is stable, right? Uh, there are other isotopes that exist in the world. They just only exist for a split second, and they'll decay into something else. So we're talking about stable isotopes. Most elements have at least two. It's not uncommon to have more than that, but most elements have at least two stable isotopes. Uh, there are very few that only have one stable isotope. And here are some examples, aluminum, fluorine, and phosphorus. Um, that's not really going to be a, a test question, but uh, just to show you that there are, there are very few that have only one stable isotope. Um, hydrogen's isotope uh, is so important that it actually has uh, special names, right? When there's no neutrons, zero neutrons, you just have one proton, it's just called the hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom, right? That's the name of, I'm going to look like this. So. Right? See how the, uh, the atomic number is the same as the mass number? That's because the number of protons, one, plus the number of neutrons, zero, is still one. Right? We just call that hydrogen. Just call that hydrogen. But if we add one neutron, so now we have this. This is called deuterium because it has a mass of two. If you didn't know, in French, du means two. Then if we have two neutrons, again, this is a stable isotope of hydrogen. If there are two neutrons, right? This atomic number is still one because it's hydrogen, right? They're all H's. But the mass is three, you call it tritium. Call it tritium. 